Hey friends, Sarah here. Welcome back to another video. And we are home from our first convention, exhibiting in a convention. And we had such an amazing time, but we knew when we left for the convention that we before the convention that this place was becoming an absolute mess with Lego uh, everywhere. I mean, I was kicking over buckets of Lego. Lego is mixed in uh, different pieces or just plopped uh, wherever they, they landed. Um, when we were changing things up or moving things around, you can see that the drawers are just all like pulled out. And this is basically like a day of convention leaving, trying to grab things, um, looking for pieces. And it, it's too much. It is too much visual clutter for me. This is our main living space, as you can see right now. And all I see is a mess of Lego, which is awesome. I love Lego. And this is not to say that I don't love Lego, but I don't love the chaos of this. So we are going to make some giant changes in here in the near future, the very near future. In fact, I am not even going to set up my city again until we do something about all of the stuff going on and we get a better organizational system and a mocking station going. We're actually going to head to Ikea at some point. I am going to be purchasing a bunch of the Alex drawers, maybe some more tops to go on them. I wanna move this dining room table out of here uh, clearly we're not using it to eat on and it's not really the right um, size or height to do much comfortably with Lego. It's just become a resting point for a lot of stuff. And then I think some sets I'm actually going to just either uh, disassemble and put in bags labeled or I'm going to just part it out completely because I don't, uh, I just don't want all of these sets out at the moment. We have a lot of plans. Uh, in, in mind going forward with convention displays, city displays, and I kind of want to start over fresh. Now that I have a good handle on what it is that I love to do with Lego and how I like to go about finding pieces for building my mocks. And I think, you know, this system was perfectly fine until I really started to dig in and build uh, build mocks sort of intensively. And then just, you know, I know where all the pieces are here, but I can definitely see how it could be stored better, better organization, less time sorting through bins for colors or uh, specialty pieces. One thing in particular I want to work on, I'm going to show you this drawer right here. Uh, this just has a lot of different kinds of attachment pieces. Those really, really do need to get sorted out into um, uh, by type, just because sometimes I know what I'm looking for, but just digging through this to find what I'm looking for and then to find it in the color that I'm looking for just wastes a ton of time. And we do have these awesome cases sitting under here that I want to be able to utilize since they're empty right now. Um, and as you can see, I have this sort of mistake mock here, and there'll be a video on that for sure. And I have this toolbox filled with various bits and pieces. So I would like to just have a more unified uh, storage and building station because what I really do love to do is mocks. So I want to make that uh, way easier for myself. And guys, if you ever pick up a rolling stool, this is fantastic. I love my new rolling stool for making mocks. I can raise it up, I can lower it down. And we've got the creator expert uh, roller coaster out here right now. Uh, I do need to clear off the table for it. We're gonna incorporate this into our, our mock custom city. Uh, obviously it won't stay at this size or this style, but we are gonna build it up to see what it is uh, we need to do to customize it. So that would be a lot of fun, but I need a space to do that. And this is just absolutely crowded. I mean, we have inside there our cups filled with bricks. We have all of these displays. I think some of them may get uh, put away for a while. You know, we just have like, there are just some pieces down here and then there are you know more pieces over there there are sets we just need to pull it all together and create a, a much more visually pleasing place to sort of work and live until our new space is ready because essentially once that new lego room is ready 
we won't have any Lego up here at all because we'll have a workspace downstairs. But until then, we need to sort of fix this up. And then anything I do purchase for up here, uh, of course, I'll keep in mind about bringing it downstairs as well. I don't want to just go out and um, spend money and buy things that won't be useful later on. So that's the plan, guys. So let's see what we can do about this messy, messy space. Okay guys, so part of what uh, this whole reorganization of the Lego area is going to look like also includes taking apart some of the sets that we really just aren't using right now. And this isn't that I'm gonna get rid of them or anything like that, but I've got out my trusty uh, gallon size freezer bags and just some of the sets that we are not really going to be utilizing at the moment are gonna be broken up and put in these bags. And when we're ready, we'll bring out some stuff for, uh, for use later on. And I am gonna take apart this roller coaster because we did in fact actually wanna build one of the other versions of it. So that will be a good opportunity. It will be ready to go when we're ready. I've been removing things from some of my mills plates. So now I have extra mills plates for getting my custom city going. And then as you can see uh, over here, We've put in some sets that we are not gonna be using. This is an alt build of Assembly Square that I don't love all that much, so we're gonna part it out. I have a second garage in there, actually. We're gonna part that one out as well. Uh, I may part it out into its own bag, though, and, and just take it apart for now. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we might do one of the alt builds with it. The party boat is definitely gonna just get into the collection. I've already taken apart my apple tree house which is actually one of the things I think I first built on a live stream. Uh, and then what else? We have more of the amusement park is in here. So we'll revisit that at another time. And then as you can actually see, we've moved these to a new location uh, just to kind of alleviate some of the visual clutter in here and to give them maybe their own unique spot. I have this little area still, which is fantastic for housing the tree house and the Ghostbusters headquarters, the Vestas wind turbine, and the Daily Bugle. Uh, some of that was over here on this table, and I would actually like to remove this table, so that helps enormously. As you can see, we are still quite a mess in here, and we are slowly but surely kind of wrapping things up here before we get to Ikea. So let me take you uh, quickly to show you where the modules are for now. All right, guys, here is the new home of the modulars, at least for now. It's a sort of a temporary home, but we have uh, all of our larger Lego sets are over here. This is the great room that we've been working on uh, in, in hopes to finish up to start our Lego room. But as you can see, I've moved two of our Ikea Calyx shelves in here and placed all of our modulars on them. The ones that are shorter are in the cubbies. The ones that are taller are on top. I do need to actually move over my cafe corner onto a mills. Uh, I just can't stand how not solid it is on that regular base plate. If you know me, you know I love mills. And you can see some of Mr. Bins and Bricks bigger sets here, including Barracuda Bay, the, the Batmobile, the 1989 Batmobile, the 1989 Batwing. We have Johnny Five who actually moves. This is an alt build of the Lee Bear uh, Excavator, Technic Excavator. He loves that one. Uh, we have the uh, Apollo Rocket, very tall. We have the Haunted House and we have, oh gosh, what is this one? Ah, the A-Wing Starfighter. The gunship unfortunately did not fit in here. So we have that, ooh, we actually had to put that downstairs. Um, we even have some art hanging out over here. I'll show you off our art. Um, we are gonna hopefully do a space display at some point on one of these walls with the Lego set. Uh, this is also where we are gonna have a game room. So we have the air hockey table as well. We have some of our other art with the Mandalorian, Darth Vader, and the Hogwarts crest, and the hodgepodge of things. Uh, but we do love the Lego art. Mr. Bins and Bricks is working on a custom map. Hi, Giddy. So this room is still kind of in process. We actually have tables with Lego. We need some more furniture, um, but it is pretty much done. Uh, so I'm very excited to 
move on from this project, move down into the Lego room, hopefully have that done before the new year. Can't guarantee that, but it will be coming in 2022 if it doesn't come uh, before 2021 is over. But I think that having this down here as a nice Lego display is perfect for the meantime. And this is actually the space where I would love to set up a space display with our NASA Lego sets down one side and then maybe the space art down the other. I'm not sure if we'll keep out uh, any sets other than that, only because we're looking to put a full-size pool table in this area and maybe one of those arcade games that you sit at and uh, possibly even like one of those basketball games, those indoor basketball games that you throw uh, basketballs in. There's still a little work to be done in here, as you can see, uh, some finishing work, but we're actually getting new doors here. Um, so hopefully this brings the clutter down to a minimum. Obviously it doesn't look like that right now, but between moving out those sets, moving out that table, which will kind of serve, will go where the pool table is, hopefully to go someday soon, temporarily here with the dining room table. We'll get those Alex shelves and uh, we'll, we'll get this even more organized. So I'm gonna go back to taking apart a few sets. As you can see, here is a cafe corner that needs to be on its Mills play. I love that hotel sign. Look how awesome that hotel sign lights up with the light coming in. All right, guys. Okay, guys, final update of the first part of my Lego room makeover series. Uh, I decided to make it a series for you guys just to see the process of uh, changing things up, grabbing some more storage, how I organize things, all that kind of stuff. So make sure to check out and watch out for future videos. But right now I just wanted to get everything a little bit neater before we headed out to Ikea. We are having a family dinner today with about 10 people and we needed to pull out our big table because Mr. Benz and Brick said no one's going to want to eat at our Lego tables, which if you look at them, they are still pretty long. Uh, so for now, this is how the setup is going to be in our Lego room, but clearly we do not have a space to put our custom city. So when we come back from Ikea, we will have at least six to eight of the Alex drawers. I'm hoping that everything is in stock as it says it is. We might have a few more tables, uh, though I did give all of my smaller tables to my son up in his room. He may not need all of them, but I do want to get out my custom Lego city and have more room to build uh, a new city idea I have going on in my brain. So we've packed up a few bins of things here to move down into the basement. We have a few sets to put in our backlog. These will actually be going with us on our next trip to Maine. And for now, I think it looks pretty organized. Um, as organized as it's going to be, but I am super excited to see what happens when we grab those Alex drawers and really sort out all of our parts and pieces. And these rolling drawers, although really, really nice, I'm actually gonna probably put them up in my son's room, at least um, maybe the two on this side, and I might keep that one. But I'm looking forward to, to the Alex drawers. I may end up with several more of these as I don't care for these Sterilite drawers as much. They'll definitely have a purpose down in our new Lego room for sure. So I'm not going to just get rid of them, but I would actually like it to have a little bit more of a furniture feel vibe up here since this is our main living space. But for now so guys, this is it. This is sort of our Lego workspace until the official construction starts downstairs. And hopefully, hopefully my friends, I'm getting word that we could be getting a permit this month. So, and we'll see you at Ikea.